Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome along to a brand new video. Today we're going to play Bridge Door by T Chapman 500. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Without further ado, let's jump into the description. Note: This map is designed to showcase the use to the use of an anti-trap detector, so it's relatively easy to complete, but will trap you for a few seconds. This is not your typical map with two buttons required to be held down in order to exit the test chamber. One button opens the exit, while the other turns off a light bridge blocking the exit. The map has the ability to detect when you have trapped yourself and lets you out of the trap to complete the test. Here is a link to a more difficult version of the map, which does have an anti-trap mechanism like this one, but will not force you into the trapping situation. So they've asked that um, the map has a trap detection mechanism that will trigger the player to trap themselves in prior escape route. The map is designed to showcase the trap detection system will trigger the detector if you don't trigger it yourself. And they are asking basically for a little bit of um, insight into trap detectors versus return paths. So, um, all right, let's see. Let's see. That's the abyss. There's something up there, something there. Gotcha. Um, overkill, I know, but I wonder. I wasn't paying attention. Let's try that again, shall we? I think we should. Uh, that should suffice. I'm sure I could do that. Even with my dodgy portal skills. Uh, so right, let me go down here first, actually. Right. There we go. Okay. Way, GG. Bravo. Well done. Serves yourself right for trying to be clever. Well, let's do it again. That was fun. <laughs> All right, so. I mean, obviously we can press that and we can do that. I think that's probably what you're meant to do. But, um, yeah, you can just do it like this. Well, at least you can if you... Um, we can't do it now. Oh, what? Ah, whatever. All right. Anyway, yeah, you can do it like that. Let's um, start making a fool of myself. And I'll just do something like this instead. Get up here. Hey, it's a cube. Hey, cube. Yep, just pull me through. 
Let's push me through there. I'm just playing around with the map, see if I can do anything. Um, see if I can do anything to break it. At the moment. Normal testing will resume shortly. Seems like you're gonna go, but then you don't quite go at the end. It's yeah. I'm gonna get through there. Anyway, I'm getting massively distracted. Seems like I'm LB playing with conversion gel. Alright, so this Okay, and we bring the cube over here. That's set to fizzle. Interesting. So that angle panel's on for a long time. Looks like it's an angle panel as well. Placement help would have been nice. I guess I need to do both of these buttons. You have trapped yourself. Congratulations. The exit door is now open. Is that like detecting a portal shot in there then? Also, um, so what if I now do th this? Okay. Let me actually check. Is this, um, yeah, it's hammer. So you've got some sort of portal detection going on then, I assume. So the minute you take a portal out in two portals in this room, you are um, effectively saying, "Open up that hatch." Um, so, as this goes, as opposed to having a return path. I would be more inclined to go for the uh, return path route. Only the simple reason that players players won't necessarily um, trap themselves. If somebody like visualizes the trapping situation, then they wouldn't necessarily um, do the actions that require you to do that. Um, hold on, what am I trying to say? If you have a, an escape path, it's it's there's a visual representation there that the player can remove themselves from the trapping situation. With like an automatic detection system like you created here, um, it might deter the player from like trapping themselves. But in this case, you need to trap yourself to solve the puzzle, which kind of, in essence, goes against portal logic. So, I think I personally would be more inclined to go for an escape path, um, always, rather than kind of like some mechanism to, um, like, release the player. I mean, I have done it maps before, and helped, uh, I think one of Aaron's maps, he did a hammer map, and I did help him with some logic where, you know, if the player kind of, like, does something stupid, it will release the uh, player out of the area, but... I still, it's not obvious to the player that that's what happened. So, I just think having a visual escape path is always better in the system. So that's just my opinion. Guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe down below. If you've got any match to play, please leave them in the comments or head over to my Google form. I'll link to that in the description. But until next time, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. See ya.